Hi, I'm Dota Proism, a flat rated solo queue player, and I'm going to be uh, making a series of videos of how to play at a higher level if you want to grind ELO. And this is going to be a support blitz crank. Pretty much, I run red attack damage runes flat, uh, AP flat for the blues, and gold per five on yellow and quintessences. Yeah, I'm just making these videos for fun and. Forgive me if it's uh, not like the greatest quality, it's like 1am, but uh, let's start off. We're going to invade because I'm playing Blitzcrank, of course. I have like all of the grabs in the world and we're just going to go sneak through the back tri bush. So it's face check time for Blitzcrank and I land a great grab on Graves over here, but he flashes towards his team, which leads us to uh, get picking up two easy kills. So we take two, we get out, and... It's a great start for our team so far. I landed one grab, I'm 100%. Super duper. Gonna go back to base to get uh, heals and manas. Only problem was uh, I had to burn both my summoners to get that second kill. It's not a terrible loss because Nidalee got both, so he'll be in the lead. The masters I'm running are a 4 5 21. Taking points in attack damage, armor, magic resist, and on the utility tree, I take improved flash, mana, mana regeneration, move speed, gold per f second, you know, plus two, plus 40 on wealth, cooldown, and the summoner cooldown. Pretty much, uh, severe dies trying to fight two on one for some reason. I can't do anything about it. I try to grab just to pick up another kill. But uh, it's probably because I took too long going to lane to be honest. The way you play with Blitz is, well the way I play with Blitz if you want to try it out is, look for a grab. Always look for a good grab that your teammate can follow up on. If your team can't follow up on the grab, the grab's pointless. Don't grab when your team's not around, it's pointless. Don't try, well try not to uh, grab the wrong people. I've seen so many times a person grabs a Malphite and then Malphite's in like the perfect range till ultimate all four of us or three of us and everything goes to hell. So that's what you want to look out for. The ruins I run are the flat AP and AD with the gold per five like I said. So right off the bat, at level 1, I have 7.3 gold every 10 seconds. It's like, awesome, I'm already ahead of them always. As for the flat AD and AP, the AD is just obvious for the power fist. The AP is because the Q and his ultimate are on a 1.0 ratio, so I'm just maxing out my early damage. As you can see, they're running a Graves Nautilus lane, which is uh, not too common. It's a little bit weird also, especially in like a higher ranked game, but I used to run support Nautilus as well. So they're pretty strong, pretty durable, but I'm not too scared because I obviously do not play with locked camera. So I know that Nautilus is just chilling in the bush and our, the Graves is about to misposition himself really poorly and get grabbed. We pretty much melt the Graves like nothing, Severe is doing a wonderful job. I used up exhaust on Nautilus, hoping that he wouldn't get away, but uh, it's okay, he will. He does a pretty good Q out, it's pretty good, but uh, we picked up the Graves kill pretty much for free. He, the Nautilus couldn't even react in time, This really was the bad part about it. I grabbed the Graves, picked him off real quick. That's the thing about Blitz Grab, it's so much faster, just like that. Boom, Nautilus is gone. Misposition himself again, almost gets away with the same trick, but not quite. Not even close. Not even close. <laughs> so, we're both gonna go back. We're pretty rich, just gave Severe two kills. Or one kill for me, one two of Severe. I would have preferred giving her both, but otherwise Nautilus would have escaped. So a little bit of game knowledge there, you know, cues from Nautilus is going to try to escape. 
Now what you want to try to avoid doing as a support is taking kills. You want to give away as many kills as you can to your carries and your solos. I mean even your junglers. You just don't want any kills. You just want assists. So when I come back to lane, I pick up the pink ward, greens. Just missed a pretty bad grab there. I just gonna pink the side bush. Just to make them blind. Don't want them to know where I am. Always had it warded. I already had dragon warded at the time. Keeping things uh, pretty safe. Choosing my time for one to grab. Nautilus and bit, uh, initiates on the severe. I jump on Nautilus and he's really low level right now. I throw like terrible grab. It was like a misclick, my hand slid or something. Whatever excuse I want to use. Swain comes down on the mini map. Things are going to hell right now. We don't know what to do. Obviously, you gotta run, but that's what we do. We stay though. Sivir stays. We stay. She pops all her health pots. We predict that the Swain is sitting in that bush because we don't see him walk out. And he's uh, pretty much baiting. The other team stays with a low health. So that's what led us to believe it. We run to it. We try to pincer it. But he's not there. And we're like, oh, okay. So he's not there, and Jinjal and Morgana are already here, so they dive. But me and Sivir are nowhere near expecting or ready for the dive. But they go anyways. Jinjal is being really gung ho, and he dies for nothing. Man is done on this lane. I grab him, but because I grabbed him, Sivir missed his Q. I didn't want him to escape, but he did. Morgana misses his Q. Uh, Jerry fails. Maokai comes out of nowhere. Drops severe. I try to peel Maokai off of severe with a power fist, but the ring of death or ring of spiritual goodness is too much. 100 damage, too strong. You know. <laughs> really funny stuff. Morgana goes back to mid lane. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. Staying in lane with low health, but. Apparently just standing there made Nautilus go all the way around, so I denied some more XP, so he's only level 4, I'm level 6. Things are pretty good. Uh, I think right here I play Ninja. Yeah. Yeah, I, f I fake my back to base, and I sit in the side bush and wait for Severe. It's pretty much a failed play on my part, I waste a little bit too much time. But uh, it's not a complete fail, as you'll see. <laughs> so I sit, I wait. They don't know I'm gone yet. They didn't even face check the bush yet. So I'm making it seem like I'm not here in the lane. So severe trades with Graves. Uh, she pops the shield, doesn't block it. I'm waiting for Nautilus to back. He's gone. Now all I need to do is land the grab. Land the grab. Land the grab. I missed the fucking grab. I am so fucking bad right now. Like, I don't know what to do. I just gave away my position and the free kill. But uh, I leave the lane now. I wasted a lot of time. Took Severe's XP that he needs to catch up. Buy a ruby crystal, a few wards. Two. Two wards. Pink. Because I love the pinks this game. I'm fed. And since I have a Philo Stone and my Gold Per, 10 Masteries up to... I am up to 10... 12.3 every 10 seconds. So it's really good. I am making money doing nothing. But I'm still looking for grabs. I look for grabs, and I get a lucky one right there on grabs. We insta melt him, ignite it, and Lomas can't even exhaust on time. He's doing it too slow. It's like it's his first time. And we also die because Severe is being a freaking man. West one's like, uh, no problem, I got this. <laughs> I didn't go in, I didn't really respond as quickly because I'm used to playing with really crappy range ADs. He was actually a really fortunate random I got. And he reacted properly. I was scared of that Maokai showing up, to be honest. Didn't want to get snared under tower and double killed. I'm not a fan of throwing away a lead. Making unnecessary plays, but uh, high risk pay high risk plays uh, pay off sometimes, as you can see. 
drop my pink on dragon. A little handy tip if you ever play a support champion in general, drop a pink on dragon. Or if you want, uh, what do you drop a pink on dragon when you're stomping? Always drop it for oracle. If you're not stomping, drop a green. And if the enemy drops a pink on your green, you can counter it with your own pink. So that way you keep vision, they get no vision at all for three or so minutes. So always have sight on dragon. Try bush is good, not always needed. But if you have these two points covered, at dragon and tri bush, you should be really safe from ganks. And the Malkai is coming again bottom. The Nautilus missed Q actually baits me really hard. I jump on Mario. Uh, the very good old did. I get uh, focused really hard. Severe goes man mode again, focusing Graves, lands a perfect Q, drops Nautilus because he's like playing crappy, and uh, she's going a little bit wild, chasing uh, chasing Malkai. I come back because I'm hoping to help him, but uh, we see Swain coming down from the dragon. We do see, I see it. Jin Zhao sees it, but Severe gets a little bit too happy. But the good thing is Morgana came up and followed on the kill. So another tip, if you're playing uh, AP mid, keep track of your AP mid, just follow if you can. If you can't follow and you don't know where he's going, top or bottom, uh, push middle really hard. In this case though, uh, Morgana knew exactly where Swain was going because Nidalee was pushing top and there was no one stopping him. So it's either stop the pushing Nidalee or the ganking bottom, or getting blue buff. Blue buffs always uh, had to be down. Especially if you have got the timer, it was around 30, 13 minutes. So here I repaint. Uh, dragon, green, Malkai comes, Severe doesn't notice it, I don't notice it. I tunnel vision to this time. But uh, Severe ultimate plus my overdrive, we walk out. It's just a strong. Jin Zhao, Malkai, uh, Morgana comes. We, tr we turn and kill right now. We're gonna have some really good flash ult. We drop Maokai. And here, uh, Swain auto attacks. Gives me vision on three. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Birdman. And Middle East, uh, Severe, instead drop him. Um, here we uh, don't dive this time. Thankfully, we do not dive. We turn, go for Dragon. Uh, Ribbon's top, so we don't have to worry. Nidalee shit dives. Nidalee dives. We didn't dive, but uh, she didn't have her turn, obviously. So at least she succeeded. Hmm. What else did I pick up? I picked up my Sheen, because I do not like playing passive supports. I only play aggressive supports. The supports I main in higher elos are uh, an offensive Janna, offensive Blitz, Karma. And I used to play support Heimerdinger, not anymore. <laughs> but uh, back to the game. Just warding, uh, we see Graves coming because I have the Dragon Warden. Steps on the trap like an idiot. Land a punch. Jin Zhao melts. I give him the kill. The only one. And then we follow up, we find Nautilus now. Grab him. Punch. Another kill for Nautilus. Uh, Jin Zhao. Just feeding my solos and jungles. Even though Jin Zhao is being a feeder this game. No problem. He's Ninja. <laughs> and uh, now you can see why I picked up the Sheen. I'm gonna laugh in front of Swain right here. Like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> He gets mad. Walks up. Like, super easy. And, uh, pretty much bait the gung ho Ninja to uh, chasing, and I, I just stroll away. Just from the Bye, Jinja. Bye. Bye, Chink. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> He's lucky that um, I'm doing really well this game. I'm, like, I'm grabbing everything. And that's uh, pretty important when playing Blitz, because if you can't grab, don't play Blitz. If you're not used to his skill shot, if you can't land it, don't do it. That's just really simple. 
here I actually choose to ward the middle of the lane. A little bit uh, unorthodox, but it's to give vision, and obviously the middle tower is the only one up. So it's obviously the uh, tower they want to defend. I you do that so we know where they are at all times. And everyone else already warded the, like, their jungle and stuff. So we're just keeping vision. They're helping me ward now. It's always cool. Uh, zoom down. Uh, good job. Walk in front of them. I try to grab Nautilus. But he go goes his way to the end. But Morgana and Sevilla on the way to save the day. Oh yeah. That was the good one right here. I told you. That was Granny Bay. Water, pretty much. Sevilla dies. But, uh, Morgana does a good job picking up Malachi with the Ignite. Really nice stuff. So that's my second death. I'm a little bit sad. Nidalee comes. And, uh, ah, that's Nautilus. We already went over this. He's bad. He's, he's playing so awful. He's like, like, you know, a submarine guy doesn't beat a robot, alright? I'm a robot. <laughs> I even say it in chat. I'm a freaking robot. Made in China. There's no flaw to my technology. I get my oracles, um, taking away what little sight they have. Uh, do they have a ward? No. Not, he just drops He drops it in front of me. I don't understand what he's doing. Captain Crunch, uh, he should stick to cereal. He should be able to be playing. Stick to his cereal. <laughs> Here, I could have grabbed Nautilus, I could have grabbed Malkai. I choose not to, because I have no team on me. Middle East down at the bottom, Severus all the way down there. I go for that grab because I don't know. I just I just wanted to grab it. I just wanted to grab it and split them up. Shinjo does a great job cleaning. Uh, he has a pretty good team fight. I save Shinjo with a power Not really, he dies to ignite. I ult the uh, Nautilus and Grace for damage. I try to take that much as I can. Uh, there's the example of one of those bad grass. I got the Malkai back in it. Didn't want to do that. But, uh, pretty much GG. Yeah, pretty much GG. They surrender. Yeah. Literally finished it up. I get uh, another assist. Now, you might be asking why I showed you me kicking ass. Well, I pretty much listed everything right here. You can pause. And I'll further elaborate if you feel like asking me in the comment section below. But the most important one that I want to point out is the gold for fives, because you start off with money. And I'll put that in the guide, you can click the link below. And I can explain right now why Sheen. Why do I go Sheen? I'm going to explain that by saying I don't like playing a boring support champion and I just want damage. I want to be able to impact a game, and that's how I do it. Power Fist doubles your attack. Using a Sheen will further damage, increase the damage. So 200 damage would be 300. And that's the main reason. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like it, sub if you want. I'll make some better videos than this one in the future. This is just one I made in a few hours. So have a nice day.